Lucas Sports and Media, where we talk about everything, even people, even things people don't want to talk about. So, yesterday, Colorado played against USC at home in Boulder. Now, USC did come up with the victory, and USC beat Colorado with a 48 to 41. Yeah, they beat them 48-41 yesterday. And they were up. What was it? 21 41 to 28 at halftime. So the, they thought the game's going to get out of reach, but Colorado and Coach Prime, I don't know what he told, what he had his players do, but they actually came back and and, all, and almost came back to the end. So let me break down what I saw. Uh, we're going to start with the flaws. Shador was getting sacked through a pick. He's holding the ball a little bit too long. And I did. I remember Coach Prime saying he's going to come back. Yeah, he might have to. He might have to come back one more year. But we're going to see. But he holding the ball just a tad too long, man. You got to drop back, man. If ain't nobody open, you either going to have to throw it or, or run or something. But he be waiting, sitting, sitting, sitting. And... You know, the offensive line's already kind of shaky, but you sit and sit and sit and, and next thing you know, you're taking sacks. And the reason I'm, I'm critiquing Shador is because I don't like when quarterbacks take hit. You can't take too many shots like that. So, like I said, holding the ball a little bit too long. Now, at the end of the game, I seen it was bad clock management by Coach Prime. I don't know. Was y'all just, just trying to – I mean, you, you're running the ball – it's only a few minutes left. You run the ball. Y'all slow to get up. Y'all not um, fast snapping it. You got to get out of bounds. You got to get out of bounds. You got to spike the ball or something. You got to stop the clock. So I'm, I'm going to chalk that up, but, you know, they're going to have to work on that. Now, improvements, they play way better, way better than, than, than last game. Last game, they could, they could barely even score. This time, they rallied back. Um, the offense was able to score. The defense, uh, um, they got a pick. One of them blindsided and hit Caleb Williams. Whoo, that was a hell of a blind, uh, uh, hell of a shot. But he, he hit him. He went. He didn't even see that coming. <laughs> uh, Kamari was Kamari's out there. I know it's a lot of controversy with him and with. Coach Prime and Coach Prime basically saying whoever don't want to be this program can leave. Carmody had made, has said a subliminal message. We don't know if it was at Coach Prime or the fans or whoever, but he was out there making plays in the uh, third or fourth quarter. You know, he looks good. I mean, I, I, I think the kid would be all right. You know, he just – it's an adjustment, man. Anytime you go from – from it, you can go you go from job to job, it's an adjustment. You know, you might be the man at, at one job and then you go to the next person you and you got to follow by their rules and their culture. And hopefully he stays because that's something that that th that this younger generation need, man. Like Dion's an old school, old school guy. Um, and that's what you need, man. You need this this generation, the Gen Z's and back. They need old school. Omarion Miller, freshman from Louisiana, he was out there balling yesterday, balling. He's de yeah, he's definitely finna be. He took somebody's spot yesterday because he was out there balling. Uh, I had to go back and go back and look at their recruiting class. So they they like I said, they're building slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Um, there, I do believe that you can fail forward, and even though they still lost. They're still three and two, and they the game pretty much went down to the very end. They rallied all the way back, and like I said, they got Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah would be a tough game, Oregon State. So my prediction, I said I think they'll make a bowl game, and I'm gonna stick with that. I think I think they'll be able to make a 
to, to get to some bowl because you only got to win six games to make a bowl bowl appearance. Oh, let me make a quick note because I was about to edit the video, but Caleb, yo, he was out there balling yesterday. He made several several plays, and yeah, he he going to definitely be the number one of all pick. I seen he made one throw where he was running. He was running to his left, and he threw to his right. Yeah, he can spin that ball. So, my Chicago Bears, yeah, we're going to probably end up taking him. But that's a whole other video for the, us, us Bears fans. If y'all want me to make a video about it, uh, put it in the comment. But, yeah, my bad. Before I finish the video, shout out to Caleb Williams. He was out there spinning that ball yesterday. And uh, number zero, I, I forget the young man's name, but when he, he ran to the – was to the left side and he didn't see a hole and he bounced back and ran to the right side, scored a touchdown. Yeah, he gonna be a pro too. So you, but USC, they, I mean, listen, USC, the number four school in the country. You got a Heisman Trophy winner, number one future number one all pick more than likely, and he might mess around and win two Heisman's. So and they got they got several NFL players out there. So hey, hey, Colorado, they they improving, they improving, y'all. But yeah, quick that's just a quick video. What y'all think?